Nick Mill fights for his life before his affirmation show. on the check-in as y'all saw meek mill went to ghana which is a country in africa you know went down there perform and decided to show the fans some love and you know the crowd got a little too excited you know roughed him up a bit so he had to uh, you know scrounge his way up through the crowd and in the midst of that you know he ended up losing his iphone which you know he said on twitter pretty much you know asking for it back if he can get it you know salute to meek for doing that because not too many people is gonna go to the trenches I'm pretty sure he's tied in and locked in with the right people to make sure nothing happens to him. You know, I think it's definitely dope for him to do that. You know, like for me, example, when I go out of the state, I don't play around. Yeah, you know I mean, like LA is like a four and a half hour flight. I know if I go to LA and I hit a club or something like that, I gotta be on point with everything because ain't nobody about to fly or drive that far away to come get my black ass. So, you know, you just gotta be cautious and move right when you people's territories and whatnot and it's a whole different ball game being in a whole different country you know especially you know third world issues and things like that you know you can go to jamaica you know what parts to stay away from and what parts the tourists go to and you know not to venture off same with mexico any other country you just gotta move right and you know recently me also did a 23 and me or ancestry test where ghana was like the what was it like the second country you know they shared the most dna with whatever the case may be so you know we definitely had to go down there um i know my parents have both did that um mostly nigerian i mean that's where most of us came from because you know transatlantic slave trade from nigeria to the carolinas you know most of us are going to send from there at the same time you know try not to take those results from ancestry and 23 and me to heart too much because you know there's like documentaries on you know the accuracy of those tests and there is a such thing as racial markers but as far as the accuracy of those tests it's pretty much just for fun at the end of the day but i do encourage it if you're trying to find family members and things of that nature but anyway if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe